spiderwebs everywhere and welcome to another very exciting tutorial how to make spiderwebs in blender this is a very quick one probably after 15 or 20 minutes you will get this result i hope so as usual gleb alexandra with you and i believe that every artist can make a living by drinking coffee and creating computer graphics so first we need to create a texture that we're gonna use as a mask between transparent shader and a diffuse shader. I made this texture using the free images that I found on Pixabay and you can download this texture, check the link in the description. And let's start with creating a diffuse shader so we can preview the texture in the viewport. Now we need to unwrap the model, switch to image editor, select the plane Press tab to enter edit mode, select the polygon, press U and hit unwrap. Then just scale it and move it in the image editor. Alright, fine, now we're gonna add a mixed shader and mix it with a transparent shader. Because as I've mentioned, we're gonna use this black and white spider web texture as a mix factor between diffuse and transparent shaders. Uh, let's preview it and we need to invert it. So what I'm gonna do is to insert the color ramp node between the image texture and the mix factor and now just swap the input and output to invert the colors and you can play with the fall off. Alright, that's looking good and now we can bend the web because usually it stretches be between two surfaces and it has its own weight. So just select the plane, subdivide it a few times and use a proportional editing to bend it. And after doing it, I'm applying the subsurface modifier to make it look more smooth. And now let's just place it somewhere in the scene where it looks appropriate for you. I'm gonna start with the lower left angle. And let's copy the web and pick another texture to randomize it a bit. Alright, cool. And let's repeat the steps one more time. Because that is the core of making a believable render involving spider webs. Firstly, we create a plane with alpha map texture. Secondly, we duplicate it a few times. And lastly, we're just trying to position these planes in the 3D space according to our intuition. And personally, for me, it's the most exciting stage. And now I'm gonna show you the final result after copying the web a few more times. Epic stuff. And that's it, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, because I enjoyed very much making it. And that's the final result, thank you so much, uh, feel free to download the source files, and also feel free to share this video and to subscribe, I really appreciate it. That was Gleb Alexandrov for creativeshrimp.com I love this music.